This question from the chapter polynomials class 10th, it says one zero of this polynomial is negative of the other and we have to find the value of k. So first of all, we can write the equation. Uh, if I write an equation in the standard form, what we know, the quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Now, if I compare this uh, from the, if I compare, this from this equation given here, can we say that uh, the coefficient of x square, which is a, the coefficient of uh, x, that is b. So b here is minus 8k square minus 40k. And if I see, say c, c is the constant term, which is 9. So once again, we have got this uh, as a, this being a, this being b, and the constant term is minus c. Now, what do we know that here one of the zero is negative the other? We know that alpha and beta are the zeros we generally take. So I can say that one zero, say alpha, is negative of the other. That means alpha is equal to minus beta. Now, if I transpose this, I can write alpha plus beta is equal to zero. That means I transpose beta on the other side. So it becomes minus beta becomes plus beta. What we know that the sum of the zeros, right? Sum of the zeros is minus b by a in terms of coefficient. So we can see, replace this alpha plus beta as minus b by a is equal to zero. Now, what is b here? b is minus of 8k square minus 40k. So that means if I, if I place here, the minus into minus is plus. So we can say that here we'll get minus b, if it is replaced from here, we'll get this as positive 8k square minus 40k over a. And as you can see, a is 4 here, is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. Now, for further calculation, what I'm going to do here, let's say, we can do trans, we can transpose this. If I transpose four to the other side, it will be multiplied with zero to become zero. Now we got 8K square minus 40K is equal to zero. After transposing this, four to the other side. Now we can factorize uh, this in order to get the value of a K. So if I take 8K as common, we'll get this divided by, no, 4k is common, sorry, yeah, k, 8k is common, yeah, it, it can be, 8k is common, so 8k square divided by 8k is k minus 40k divided by 8k is 5 times is equal to 0. So now we can compare these two values, that means we can compare 8k with 0, so 8k is 0 or k minus 5 is equal to 0. So I can say from here that k is equal to 0 because 0 divided by 8 is 0 or k is equal to, if I transpose minus 5 to the other side, it will become 5. So we got these values. We had to find the value of k. So there are two possible values of k. k is equal to 0 and k is equal to 5. One more thing before we uh, declare the value, you must see that after placing the value of k, does it still satisfy that? equation that is ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Where a cannot be zero. When a cannot be zero, clearly by replacing the value of uh, k in this polynomial, we do not find a as zero. That's why we say that there are two possible answers for this. k can take zero or five. 